will understand Cause that is something everybody everywhere does in the same By your coat, my friend, you're from the other side. There's just one thing I've got to know. Can you tell me, please, who won? Say, can I have some of your purple berries? Yes, I've been eating them for six or seven weeks now. I haven't. Probably keep us both alive. Super stripped down version of Wooden Ships by Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Now, when it came up on the old tube of Ubes, uh, it was credited to Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, hence it's the choice. And I do like that group. Um, but evidently, Neil had nothing to do with the writing of this song. The song was written by uh, Stephen Stills and a certain Paul Kantner who was a member of Jeff Jefferson Airplane. And in fact, both groups did versions of this song. The Jefferson Airplane version off the 1961 album, 1969 album, Volunteers, has a slightly different lyric and melody. I'm going to have to check that out. I failed to before uh, hitting record here. Um, anyway, um, it was... Uh, I wanted to do Sweet Judy Blue Eyes, but that song is absolutely insane. And I don't know how I'm going to pull it off with one guitar and one voice. So I defaulted to this one, which is kind of cool. I like it. I do like that group. Um, this song was written in Fort Lauderdale on Crosby's boat. He, Crosby, I imagine, was sitting there strumming the guitar. And uh, Stephen Stills and Paul Kantner were uh, jot jotting down lyric ideas. It's, um, the U.S. was embroiled in the, uh, it was the height of the Vietnam War and the Cold War. And so there's sort of a fantasy about survivors of a nuclear exchange. There are a couple of lines in there, like the silver people on the shoreline. That's supposed to be uh, guys in radiation suits. 
as the ships were coming, wooden ships were coming back and forth. And a wooden ship is good because it has no metal parts to become irradiated. So they left them alone so that they could sail off in peace. And um, the purple berries are a reference to iodine pills, which uh, guard against radiation sickness. Neil Young did reference this song in uh, one of his songs later, um, called Hippie Dream. Anyway, so during uh, Woodstock, Young joined the band on stage to perform the song, as did Jefferson Airplane, did their own version, a 21 minute version. So, same song twice in the same, the same uh, concert. Well, I just read something on the uh, social medias today. That's quite poignant. So a friend of mine, who I've known here in Paris for about 20 years now, one of the first guys I ever met, one of the first people I've ever met, he wrote an update stating, Would you like to take a little voyage into the Macronian absurdity, which has nothing to do with medical logic? So at the beginning of Jan this is his voice. At the beginning of January, I um, finally developed the uh, flu of the moment, which is decimating humanity, but mysteriously, and happily, uh, spares my friends. It was the current version, and uh, I only coughed for about a week and no other symptoms. So I decided it would be a good idea to take a PCR test. On purpose, I did because of their excessive tendency to turn out positive. This is true. Depending on how many times the cycle's spun, you can get a positive every time, if you like, if you spin it enough, uh, in the uh, centrifuge. Um, so, um, so, um, and this, uh, according to the scleretic laws, Illegal, discriminatory and illegal scleretic, scleretic laws in, in, instated by the vermin government by themselves key that would uh, give him in principle four months of freedom you know or the uh, in, the equivalent of an injection so four months you're considered a person again instead of an outcast a, a filthy um, uh, unterman and um, so he, um, so then two weeks later, he took the antigenic test, which is more reliable according to him, and he was tested negative. And so the next day he left for the United States to empty the house of his father, who died at the end of December after his third injection, and which uh, caused him... Um, sent him directly into cardiac arrest. And his father had never had any heart problems beforehand. Upon returning to Paris in the airport, the uh, Red Cross, for some reason, was uh, processing people coming off the plane. And they told him that um, only the uninjected had to take a test on arrival. Um, but he said, no, I've got this, I survived this terrible virus, and I have a pass, and he uses the word flickage, which I'm not sure what it means, but it, um, I can tell you that flick is slang for cop. So I have a pass, a, you know, a valid pass. And no, you have to be completely injected um, or nothing. Okay. So he passed with success the... Um, nasal cavity excavation and then a lady cop announced that regardless he'd have to confine himself for 10 days and uh, where he would be have the ability to leave hit the house between 10 a.m and noon to contaminate um, passersbys and he would probably be uh, visited by the police and if they found that he wasn't at home without a valid excuse they could find him 1,500 1, euros, 1,500 euros, over 10 days. So he has to be in his house except for two hours. It's just like fucking jail, isn't it? And um, this became cocas, and I'm not sure what cocas means. It's a slang word. Um, Macron et con, 
That means like the, it's a play on Macron and company, but it means Macron and assholes uh, put the United States on the red list. So anyone coming back from the U.S. would have to auto confine. But uh, curiously, the fully injected um, weren't advised to do this. So this morning, hello. Oh, there's someone there. Please do say hello. I'm just uh, relating a little story about them. Uh, health. Actually, it's tyranny, <laughs> but they say, they say it's health. These fucking guys. Okay, so this morning, uh, a policeman came to my door, and I said to him, oh, you're doing uh, passionate work here, aren't you? And he responded, the cop responded, what a shame, what a, you know, it, as if we don't have anything else to do. But uh, consider yourself lucky because uh, soon they're going to be uh, issuing electronic bracelets. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, that's the case. It's our government. And uh, all that I can tell you is, uh, you know, cross the right uh, box off in the election coming up uh, in April. But, you know, that's a mystery who's going to be the proper... Uh, box to, to cross. Um, what else happened? So that's the story here. So it has everything to do with health and nothing to do with tyranny and control. Um, oh, and uh, speaking of that, I went and got nose raped today with a PCR. So hopefully it's going to turn out uh, positive and then I'll have four months of elbow room because uh, six, it used to be six months, but six months wasn't, wasn't shitty enough according to um, Manuel Macron, and so he wants to be a complete and utter asshole, and so he reduced it to four, because of science. And uh, it's Groundhog Day today, and appropriately enough, did you see that Justine of Ottawa um, came out of his hole with his dog Brandon and his five masks on, allegedly positive of Koof, um, to give a little press conference, and in fact, um, he looked fine. You know, remember when Don came out, uh, he, he looked disheveled as heck, but, uh, Justine tip top condition. And so he gave a speech where he totally mischaracterizes the Ottawa convoy. All of that. If you haven't, if you've only been listening to, um, corporate uh, propaganda, then you might not be aware of it, but thousands of trucks and hundreds of thousands of people are just descending on Ottawa d demanding Justine's, um, uh, resignation and or uh, lifting of all restrictions. And uh, during his little discourse, during his little speech there, he said, um, you know, I've been utterly shocked by the display of symbols of hatred and division and racist flags. And it just never occurred to me that the maple leaf was racist. These guys are fucking retards. It's becoming so evident, so clear. Oh, the grips us as we watch you die And all we can do is echo your anguished cries Stare as all human feeling dies We are leaving, you don't need us Okay, ciao for now um, Remember always Six Emperor Tyrannus Truck yeah!